It's a passenger's claim. If true, it's shocking. An Air India flight from Jeddah to Mumbai via Hyderabad reportedly made it all the way, or at least part of the way, with its cabin door unsecured. The flight was to take off from Jeddah today morning, and while taxiing before takeoff, the cabin door indicator reportedly went off. Somehow, the door was left reportedly unguarded throughout. However, Air India has denied these reports, and our civil aviation reporter Kashif Kusro has more details. Kashif, what is Air India saying? Well, I want to start with a very bizarre explanation from Air India. They are saying the pictures, what you see on your screen, it was just a false alarm in the cockpit. Uh, let me tell our viewers that how does it function. If any of the uh, aircrafts uh, functioning just goes uh, uh, kaput, uh, there is an indicator in the cockpit. And this time there was an indicator in the cockpit that the cabin door has not been secured. After that, uh, the engineers checked the aircraft. They saw that it was secured and the aircraft took off from Jeddah for Hyderabad. Midway through the flight, again, there was an alarm that the cockpit door has not been secured properly. At that time, the aircraft pilot decided uh, to uh, divert to Mumbai. In fact, uh, the normal course was to Hyderabad and then to Mumbai. But this aircraft diverted to Mumbai, uh, made a priority landing in Mumbai. And then uh, we see those pictures which were uh, shared with us by one of the passengers who was in fact sitting on the front rows. Uh, remember, this door, what we are talking about, is the RT door. It is the front door of the aircraft, which is not completely secure. And that is why the alarm was uh, going on but air india insists at this moment that it was a false alarm and there was nothing wrong well, with i the don't safety i don't understand what aircraft. i mean it we was an alarm check, how can an alarm be false if there was if there was a false false alarm then why was the aircraft redirected uh, why was that action taken you know there are many twists and turns on the story parvez dabani a former executive director of kingfisher airlines and jitender bhagav executive director of air india and captain gopinath of deck and cargo let's quickly get your points of view on this uh, Captain Gopinath, you've heard some of these details which Kashif Kusro is reporting. Air India says it was a false alarm. What do you think? Yeah, I think um, you, you can't just go by photographs of uh, passengers. Uh, um, there could have been a false uh, you know, instrument panel alarm. Uh, only an investigation will, uh, uh, will reveal that. But I think in all such cases, uh, uh, there could be sometimes malfunction, but you can't hold anyone responsible unless there's an investigation because these things happen all the time. You know, you know, you have engine malfunctions, you have whole kind of uh, landing gear malfunctions. So I think um, you, know, you can't just disbelieve what Air India is saying. You know, of course, an investigation has to be there. Uh, there will be uh, so voice recorders which will be downloaded by DGCA. If, if it was a false yeah, alarm, yeah. then how do you explain the picture? You see, if it was a false alarm, then why did the what did the pilot ask for to be checked? One, B. Is it true that the flight took off only after the engineers had it checked? And if there was no problem, what explains the picture? Jitain the Bhagav, is there more than meets the eye? See, I will basically go along with what Captain Gopinath has said. There are instances of false alarm in the cockpit. Pilot did the right thing of going back, landing, and the engineering che engineers checking it up. I would fault the engineer who did it, because if there was a gap between the rubber cushion and the door, it should have been amended or noted down that we are sending the aircraft, dispatching the aircraft, as it says, there are no-go situations and there are allowed, engineers are allowed to sign an aircraft. You should have done this and Air India would have been in the fitness of things, been in a position today if the engineer had said so, that look, we allowed the aircraft because there was no safety being compromised. Having said this, it becomes How can the cabin door indicator, you know, go off while taxiing? Look, I'll tell you, Arnab, you got to give it. In, it happens with all airlines. At times, there are false indications in the cockpit. And out of what about the caution, picture then? If it's a pilots, false indicator, how, what explains this picture? Someone no, can't manufacture it. That once the plane had landed back in Jeddah and right. the engineer attended to it, either there was some lack of work done on that door or it was left out inadvertently, but there is. Inadvertently? As, no, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But, and that is where I'm saying I go along with Captain Gopinath that since every incident in aviation industry is reported to DGCA, Air India's own safety department and DGCA will do a thorough check on it as to why happened, who's responsible, take action. This okay. is what is laid down in the system. Is there a trust but, deficit but, right Arnab, now with, with Air India? Arnab, Arnab, no, just a minute. I'll just caution one. You see, when we highlight these kind of incidents into major stories, it has a bearing on the safety perception of an airline, which is regrettable. 
and I don't think if Air India is saying, please take the story of air, of the air. I would say yes. Do not try and overplay the story We're because no, well, no, well, 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 that's uh, well, now, please. Me, me, let's say, for example, me, three me, days me, down me. the line, Air India's own safety department and DGC, an independent body, says there was nothing wrong. Kind of a thing happening. Yes. It was small, inadvertent collapse on the part of an engineer. Right. Right. With no safety implications. Now you can't retract you, you or see, put back the you, faith you see, of the passengers in the you airline. You see, uh, Mr. Mr. Bhargav, uh, firstly, we're putting all sides of the story. As you are saying, you're putting the perspective on it. So is Captain Gopinath. This channel does not hype things ever. But the fact is that in Bangalore, a fuselage fell off. So that was my question to question to Parvez Dhawan. If fuselage fell off from the under part of a jet in Melbourne, Delhi, it returned because of a snag in Delhi, Sydney this month. Windshield cracked midair. We, we saw those pictures there. There was brake failure earlier this month as well. Now, there is a certain problem that Air India is facing. It's not just perception. No, these are very serious incidents. And uh, the Indian DGCA standards are as same as all the international standards. And the DGCA should and must be doing a very thorough investigation in all these matters. First of all, Lord, no aircraft can take off till an engineer signs it off. And the engineer is signing off on his name. It's, it's his license is all at so that's at stake. If he signs of an aircraft that's unfair, not fit to fly, he would lose his license also. So nobody's going to take that risk. But to what extent it is the engineer and the pilot's decision that what flaw should be allowed and what flaw should not be allowed, what flaw the aircraft cannot take off. So sometimes people do take a decision that by this, this situation the aircraft can take off. But what you were saying, we do not know what came of the investigation of these incidents The investigation in the has only begun. Right now, Air India is reacting to these initial reports that are there. And I, we here are not taking any of the initial reports at face value. All that we are saying here at Times Now is that something seems to have happened. And obviously, some, there was a, a obvious reason why the engineers were asked to look into what was happening, which is why the pilot asked for a check and the flight took off only after the engineers had the whole matter checked. Now, Air India cannot expect. Can you can you tell me, Jitendra Bhagav, just to play devil's advocate with you or anyone anywhere else in the world, an aircraft windshield develops a total crack midair. Would you be sitting here in the studio and saying, look here, you know, please, you know, be careful, don't put the story out, you, you know, perception, perception is matters in civil aviation. What are you talking about? No. Perception does matter and you need to win the battle of perception with, with the people, with the passengers, with the viewers. And when a windshield develops cracks, may, may I tell me any other part of the world where a fuselage comes off? Arna, a panel of the fuselage did fall. Eight they feet into oh, four yeah, feet yeah, yeah, fuselage yeah, 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 from feet. the under yes, part yes, of the yes. jet came that off. That was a lapse. And that is why, yeah, that why, that's why the engineer got suspended immediately. And when the India. steam oven overheats, but when there's hot water which falls see, through and a crew member gets now, there injured. there are two different issues that you're raising here. One concerning a new aircraft called Dreamliner which has had glitches not just with Air India but with all airlines which are flying that aircraft. The second point that you were talking about it is that at times it happens that you get a false alarm in the cockpit and therefore pilot has no choice but to land back. Now the second thing that you're talking about the windshield cracking. Yeah. Let me tell you one thing. That it also happens. Not one of the isolated instances in aviation industry. I there know. have been instances with every airline virtually at some. So time you're saying Air India is unfortunately has cracked. But no, no, no. You can't. You can't say, Mr. Bhargav, there are lives at stake. You know, when things like no, that happen, please. you you want to tell the viewer today. You know, windshields Anab. crack, fuselages fall, steam ovens. You know, they emit hot water, cabin crew get injured and in, you, can you name one airline in the world where this has happened in such succession in four I'll weeks? I'll tell you about it. <laughs> it's bad, sad to name an airline. Qantas went through a phase where in three, four months right. they had nothing less than seven to eight instances about two years ago. Right? Everything is, it can happen. But what I'm saying is, let's define. You'll high tolerance levels, no, Mr. Bhargav. No, no, please. Uh, you, Dreamliner you, incidents must be uh, kept uh, Captain apart. Gopinath, Captain Gopinath, do these things just happen? The other incidents we are speaking about. By the way, I'm, I'm repeating, this cabin door yeah, incident I, I needs to be verified. What about all the other things which have been happening off late? Is Air India just being unlucky, as Cap Jitendra Bhagav argues? I mean, uh, you know, it's I'm saying, um, I agree with the Bhagav. This, you know, uh, largely, of course, Air India has had some bad perception. But that apart, in this particular incident which you're talking about, I, I know, uh, and I think everybody knows in the aviation industry, this windshield uh, uh, cracking is a very serious uh, It is, event. but if Mr. Bhargav happens, wants to play uh, that down as well. Crash. There was a crash in... No, 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 no. He wants no, to play no. it down. He says these in, things uh, happen. Please, you're in, misinterpreting in a, in a, no, me. No, 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 no. 
Then listen to me, listen to me. No, 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 no. I am stand by what Bhagavad says. It, it is, uh, all, all that I am saying is that windshield, for example, last year in Europe, a Boeing uh, crashed uh, in a European airline. Yeah, I don't so remember the airline exactly. now. Exactly. Where so all the passengers saying. died because the. But no, no, that's exactly crashed. what I'm saying. You so know, Mr. Bhargav, Mr. 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 Bhargav puts that. on his. Put, you know, is the it? problem with Mr. Bhargav is that he, whenever. You see, he cannot forget his demi official hat that he's no longer with Air India and he constantly it's begins to wear that hat even right. in the course of a no, news no, no, program. No, no. And Mr. Bhargav, please realize this anywhere else in the world you have a windshield cracking. You're talking about contrast. You have any airline in the world. Parvez Damania, tell me this. Parvez Damania. One minute, Parvez Damania, tell me this. I have, I have one minute left on this. I need to move on. Parvez Damania, no, you, you are getting touchy here tonight. I'm not, I'm not getting touchy. Let's put it this way: the tragedy of media is. Let me explain to you. Here oh, yeah, yeah. is that every incident involving aviation is termed as an unsafe kind of a thing. It isn't so. What should there we? There are systems built into you, you by want, the you, manufacturers, you, and a windshield crack, as I've said, it has happened with Air India. You know, it has happened with very many other. I airlines. think that's ridiculous. But, I think but what you're saying is ridiculous. I think you're saying ridiculous. What you're saying is ridiculous. It is not ridiculous. It is please. ridiculous. You are what you are trying. I am Mr. saying so Mr. on the Why? basis of my 20-year experience in, with Air India. With your 20-year experience in Air India, with great respect, you tell anyone that you know it's okay. Sometimes a windshield crashes. Uh, you know, it breaks down, cracks. and you may be cracks, and you may be flying a, a plane in which the windshield may be cracked. You may be mid-air, and there may be a pilot trying to grope through that broken windshield to land your plane. I can assure you, nobody is going to be on your side, Mr. Bhargav. You can tell me any official technical language, and don't accuse me of hyping it because I'm when the questions are tough, you, like politicians, uh, you know, say that this is hype. But, uh, but it's not between you and me. As I have said repeatedly. I have said repeatedly. Tonight's no, incident needs to be investigated. I am. I am saying here, where is the where is the his sleeves rolled up action. When the windshield broke, where was the union a civil aviation minister? He should have been addressing the national Look, press. Talking. I'm not going to be talking about what well, the minister you need to, needs to do. Damania, but I'm trying to put across just two things. Pa Parvez. Do not put every incident involving an aviation thing right. as a safety risk. B. I think it is a safety risk. Greenliner kind of a thing like windshield. It has happened with all airlines and it is not deemed as an unsafe practice. Uh, well, DGCA I think it's would an have extremely swung into action practice. by now and taken action against the airline. I think extremely unsafe practice. Okay. As Captain Bhargav said, some one of that incident led to a crash somewhere else. It's extremely unsafe. We are not going to live with it or and nobody will accept it. Yes, What Parvez. we need to see is the DGC audit of Air no, India no, and no. really has it fallen down? Have the standards gone down? But see, there is one concern that I have very serious concern. There is a lot of unhappiness among the employees of Air India for various issues. The merger, this, huh? that. Huh. There no. are a lot of issues by which the Air India employees are very unhappy. It may be mergers, salaries, whatever issues. And sometimes what I fear, if an employee is unhappy, it may reflect in his work. I don't think we can be, we, you, you know. But, but I think Arnab, I can only add I, one point. I, I, no, I, 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 I won't, Mr. No, no, Mr. Mr. Bhargav, since I'm saying this as a caveat repeatedly, what happened on 964, I don't have the details. I just say, whatever has happened on 964 cannot undo the fact that over October, November, a number of unfortunate yeah. incidents no, have happened. Saying, no. It's the responsibility of the media to let people know. No, no. And let Air India it's explain what's going media, on. But what is worrying me, if there's a shortage of funds, if the people are unhappy if that reflects into the quality of engineering that is bad news and that is well I, on that as well I won't make a generalization but it's your perspective I thank you all for joining me on thank the you. news hour tonight for Air India they need to explain what happened not just in this case but in all the previous cases and for the civil aviation minister we want the sleeves rolled up quick fire response to what's going on in the national carrier